Usually you see me here in the boot shop working and running a business, but there are times that my life does not go as planned and I'm out of the shop more than I'm in. And this past week was one of those times. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my life for the past week and a half. Last Wednesday, I got up at 5 a.m. to fly to Pendleton, Oregon for the Pendleton Leather Show. My husband, Dale, was supposed to go with me, but he owns a business also. And the Friday before, his truck broke down, which threw off his whole schedule, which meant he didn't get to go to Oregon with me. So I called my mom, and at the last minute, she dropped everything and agreed to fly to Oregon with me. She loves to travel, so she wasn't that upset about it. Thursday, I taught an all-day inlay overlay class. I was also supposed to be setting up my booth, but I couldn't because I was teaching the class. My mom went over and set up the whole booth for me, and I was so happy I almost cried. She did a great job. Friday morning, I taught a short last-making class, and then my mom and I worked the booth the rest of the day Friday and Saturday. And Sunday, we drove all the way back to Boise and flew home to Oklahoma City. We got home around 1 a.m. Monday, and when I got up the next morning, I found out that the dog had run under the tractor the night before and gotten her leg broken. Monday morning, I spent dealing with the dog and the vet, and then Monday afternoon, I did paperwork until my girls called and said they weren't feeling well and could I please make chicken noodle soup. I left work a little early and went home and made homemade chicken noodle soup and delivered it that night. Tuesday morning I was still dealing with the dog and the vet and the x-rays that I had to take to Oklahoma City and then while I was in Oklahoma City Paige called and she was locked out of her apartment and could I please come help her get back into her apartment. Wednesday morning I helped my mom set up an eBay account and Wednesday afternoon I finally got to finish handling all of the paperwork from the Pendleton Letter Show. I was home all day Friday with Paige. Friday evening, I bought tickets to the Small Works Great Wonders show at the Cowboy Hall of Fame. It's an art show, and the whole family loves that event. We love to go, and the tickets are not cheap. We had planned to go Friday evening, but instead, I was in the emergency room with Paige because she was desperately ill. I spent the whole weekend taking care of Paige. Monday, I stayed home and took care of Paige. Tuesday, Paige was finally feeling better and I went to the shop for a few hours, but then she got worse and I went home and took care of Paige. Wednesday, Paige was finally better. Poor thing, she was so sick. Wednesday, she was finally better and I came into the shop and I fit a last. I finally did some boot work. Thursday morning, I finished fitting up that last and I tore down the boots that I'm supposed to be repairing. I made this pair of boots for a customer of mine in 2002, and they've come back to have new soles and heels. Thursday afternoon, Dale came into the shop. He's helping me move all of my last shelves and all of my last to the back room because I need to open up more space in the front for Sorrel Notions and Findings. I'm gonna have a really exciting announcement about why I need that space soon. But for the moment, just take my word for it, I need some space and I'm moving all of my last to shelves and that's gonna take a while. And today is Friday. I'm feeling pretty accomplished because this is a boot and I actually worked on it today. Don't get me wrong, most of my life I spend working in this shop through the day and it's very quiet. Sometimes the phone doesn't even ring and I can just happily work on cowboy boots. But every once in a while I have a week like the last one and I'm glad that I have a business where I can close it down if I need to and go home and take care of my baby when she's sick.